everyone. Hello, my name is Esther Collado. I'm the Technical Director of the Vascular Lab Cardiovascular Surgery Associates at the Houston Methodist Hospital. Today I'll be demonstrating our carotid protocol. So we start by positioning the head and let's start the protocol. We start in a transverse approach. We capture a live segment and follow it to the bifurcation. Come back and then we repeat this with color. Again, sweeping up slowly, we see the split of the internal and external, and we're verifying that there's color flow in each of the vessels. We'll now go to a longitudinal approach in black and white. And now we'll go to our color for Doppler. steering our color box for proper angling. And obtaining our Doppler signal. And from here we'll measure our peak systolic velocity and end diastolic velocity. And enter it into our protocol package. Next, we'll move to our mid common carotid artery. And again, color and Doppler. Obtaining our values for peak systolic and end diastolic velocities. And now we move into our distal common carotid. We'll adjust our steering angle. And again, measuring our velocities. We'll now look at the bulb. We obtain Doppler signals if there's pathology here. In this case, we do not have any, but we'll go ahead and demonstrate. And then we move into our internal carotid artery. And again, sampling our, our Doppler, maintaining a 60 degree angle. We'll move into our mid-internal, obtaining image and Doppler. And now moving into the distal internal. Adjusting our color box, size and position. And from here we go into the external by slightly pushing forward on the probe. Here we have a high resistance signal in our external carotid, which is normal. From here we'll go to our subclavian, go back into a transverse approach. And we angle down towards the clavicle. Adjusting our focus. And we'll adjust our scale for color filling.
And we're going to readjust here. Again, obtaining our velocities. From here, we look at our vertebral artery. This is our common. We'll pan down, looking for the vertebral. Adjusting focus. And we'll drop our color scale. And there's our vertebral bodies. We're going to decrease our color box size. And there we have the blue vein above the artery, which is in red. And we'll pan back to our common. We have red flow in our common and red flow in our vertebral. And now we'll obtain our Doppler signal. Adjusting our Doppler scale. measuring our peak systolic and end diastolic. If we have a 70% stenosis or greater, we'll obtain a volume flow. In this case, we do not have that. And this ends the protocol on the right side. From here, we would go ahead and move on to the left side and go through the same protocol again.